Hello teachers, um, this is a quick video to just show you how you can get your GoGuardian classroom monitoring tool up and running in just a couple of minutes. So if I invited you properly, you should have an email that says activate your GoGuardian account in your inbox. So I have the email open here and I'm gonna just click this sign in with Google button to take me to my GoGuardian account. Just have to agree to their terms of service, check the box. And you'll be taken to um, a pop-up that shows you an overview video, which we'll come back to. Um, so first of all, all of your classrooms are gonna be here on the left. And I'll talk a little bit about this in just a moment, but there's first a setting that we need to do um, to connect GoGuardian with Google Classroom because you will be pulling your Google Classroom rosters in automatically. Um, it's really, really cool. All right, so first of all, I'm clicking on the top right. I'm going to my account settings and I'm clicking on Google Classroom and I'm uh, with a goal of reconnecting Google just to make sure all the latest and greatest students and rosters are there. And I'm just allowing it. Once that is done, I can go back to my classrooms tab here. And I want to add my first classroom. So I'm gonna scroll way to the bottom and choose add Google Classroom and choose from the ones that I have available. Test teachers only got these two. So I go ahead and click on that and click sync just to be extra sure but all the kids in that class should now be visible. I need to make sure under the settings that I have a subject area chosen or I can't go to the next step. So let's go to music, since this is a songwriting class, and update. Okay, so again, once I've set up my account settings to link to Google Classroom, I can import the classes um, using the Google Classroom button. And then for each class, under settings, I just need to save the subject and update it. Now that I'm in this class, um, without getting too deep into the weeds or the nitty gritty, I literally can just start a session. So I'm here in the class and I can start a session. And all this will do is if the students are online, in this case they're um, not, but you would see the kids screen appear automatically. And because I've set this to be a live session that's 45 minutes, it's not only giving me the real-time information, but it's creating a timeline um, with a report that I'll be getting via email after the session is done so that I can actually take a look more um, critically at what the kids have been doing. So I'm gonna say let's leave it here. Um, I will encourage you to go to the classroom section and add every single classroom, again, using the Google Classroom button here at the bottom. So I'll do that one more time. So again, add Google Classroom. This time I'll take the period six class, sync just in case, and then in the settings, I choose the subject and update it. And again, now that I have two classrooms, I can choose from the ones that I would like to run and just start a session. The time, the length of the session, I would say maybe do it for up to an hour or get really granular and choose a specific time. We won't be getting into the scenes, which allow you to like restrict certain sites or allow certain sites. Really, we're just wanting to get up and running with monitoring um, these classes and seeing how the system works while we are in our free trial. Any questions, please feel free to email me um, or find me, Tatiana. Otherwise